Hey, what's up everyone? It's Cousin Ryan. Uncle Joel. And we just got out of Avengers Endgame. And I'm hitting the feels, man. I'm hit right in the arc reactor. <laughs> uh, I, I, I liked it. We're gonna, okay, well, we're just gonna preface this right now. We really, we were just talking before we turned the camera on. We wanna keep this spoiler free, but it's gonna be hard. So I just wanna put that out there right now. If you're trying to avoid spoilers, it could be better to like wait and watch this video after you've seen the movie. Like I said, we're really gonna try to avoid spoilers, but this is the warning right now. I can't guarantee 100% something won't slip out or whatever, so ye be warned. I liked it though. Yeah. I liked it. It gosh man, it was just so emotional to have the last eleven years of like this movie nerddom that we've all experienced and uh like get wrapped up. It without getting into too much family history here, along this journey of Marvel movies, I I started it with Iron Man, not uh, not having a very close relationship with Joel. Like we we're related, obviously, but not knowing each other super well. So along this path, about what Thor one ish, right around there, yeah. Yes, just life circumstances brought us back together. So our family bond has like grown over the course of this film uh, franchise as well so that's just kind of a cool little you know uh, note for our family that it's kind of i don't know that's part of why this is important to us anyway the movie talk to me joel so honestly at first i was taken a bit off guard um it was far too mellow mm -hmm. and did not feel like a superhero movie at first. Okay. Um, which, like, I, I've got to give them mad props for being ballsy enough to, to take that tonal shift. And Because there was definitely, I haven't thought this during one point in the movie, probably in the first act, the first hour. I'm like, if you watch Infinity War and Endgame back to back, it feels like not two different genres, but two different just tones. You're, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not... It's not a, a flowing story. It, it, it feels different. Yeah, there's a depth of tonal shift. Uh, but I think that was very important to establish this, like, this gravitas that just is very critical to the movie. Um, uh, it had such an emotional impact that I was not prepared for. Um, but I expected, like, okay, we've walked with these characters for 10, 11 years, and, uh, you know, we know them well, and so there's going to be some emotional connection, but uh, they really knew what they were doing and how to drive home the emotional impact of things on the characters rather than just being like, oh, hey, stuff happened, okay, now we fight the bad guys. Yeah. And it was like, no, let's show the effects of Infinity War. Let's really parse this out and show all the difficulties, all the life changes, and all the uh, yeah. personality changes. And, yeah. Uh, I think the life changes and where characters went, the direction their lives went in after Thanos' initial snap of the fingers, that was really important. Yeah. Because I didn't even think that they would do something like that. Uh trying to weed out spoilers I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. it's so hard man it's so hard because like yeah but it oh it was yeah, just so it was good man it was better than I expected I, I just I feel like I enjoyed it more I knew I was going to enjoy it but it wasn't what I expected but it was okay though because sometimes when something's not what you expect you're really disappointed like oh man that's not what I wanted but they gave me something I didn't even know I wanted yeah you know Yeah, there was there was a lot of emotional impact, uh, a lot that was tied up in uh, good and unique ways. Um, honestly, I think it's the kind of movie that, you'll, that it won't be what you're expecting, and so a second yeah. a second viewing might yeah. might be required. Yeah, for um, sure. I definitely think now that. Now that I know what to expect, I'll have a better, better idea 
idea of how I feel about the movie mm -hmm. on a second viewing. Yeah, I'm definitely, I want to go see it again. Um, excuse me. I'm going to wait though. Excuse me again. Uh, I don't, I don't want to wear this out too quick. Like I want to be able to, to feel that emotion on the second viewing without like yeah. washing it out by seeing it too soon or too often again. Um, but it's, it, oh, I'm definitely, definitely going to see it again. Oh yeah. So yeah, I want to say so much more, but I don't want to ruin <laughs> it for anybody. If you haven't seen it yet, please go see it. So uh, we can talk about it more down in the comments. Like I, 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 think I'm, I was just going to say, I'm really interested to hear the opinion of somebody that didn't like it. Yeah. Just like, but a constructive argument, not like, oh, that was stupid. You know what I mean? But actual, like, not that I feel like I'm gonna change my mind or anything, but I'm just curious. I just didn't see anything wrong with it. Of course, it's the first viewing again. And sometimes these are misleading, These doing these videos right afterward, because you haven't quite processed everything. Yeah. Even when we do trailer reactions, I like to do it on the first viewing of the trailer, but your opinion and your, uh, your analyzation of it gets so much better after a second viewing or even thinking about it for a day and then watching it again. Yeah. Um, but right now, and I think you, you know me pretty well by now that like, I get really excited about whatever I just saw. And then later I might be like, yeah, it was all right. But yeah. like right now I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Like it was, it was good. It was, it was really good. So, you know, I'm glad you brought up excitement because uh, that's what I was going to say is that I don't get excited. Yeah. I, about much of anything. Um, I'm just, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm very level. Um, but there were several moments in this movie that I got genuinely excited. Mm -hmm. um, and God, this road is really rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one of the reasons that I avoid trailers is I, I want to have those excited, yeah. exciting moments since they're so rare for me. Uh -huh. um, but this, this movie did genuinely elicit ex excitement and uh, get me to laugh and laugh in excitement, uh, uh -huh. which I wasn't quite expecting. Yeah. No, and it, it you know, and that, that is, I'm, I'm glad you brought up the laughing because it, it did, even though there was like a very serious uh, tone to this, they were able to maintain a lot of the humor that we've gotten used to with Marvel yeah. movies that I thought, you know, it was a great balance just like all the other ones they've done. Well, and like, so that was one of my problems with Thor Ragnarok. As mm. much as I love it, I felt like too much of the comedy undercut the gravity of the situation. Yeah. Um, See, I think that movie, as much as I liked it too, uh, it would have benefited from a more serious tone. I mean, it's Ragnarok. It's the, you know, yeah. the Viking freaking apocalypse. But it was funny like Guardians. Yeah. Which, it, I think Guardians is hilarious and I love those movies, but... When I heard Ragnarok, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be dark. Like it's gonna be really, and it, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Which was okay, but. And, and I was kind of prepared for a bit more humor like that. Mm -hmm. And. So, you mean tonight? Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and so uh, I really appreciated that they kept the humor in, t uh, in time with the, the waiting moments. Um, so when it was a heavier moment, there might still be some humor, but it was a little bit more subtle. Uh, it okay. wasn't like, okay, somebody just died, and so I'm going to make a joke. It's, well, yeah, no, like, we're dealing with heavy stuff. We're dealing right. with half the Earth's population being wiped out. There will be dark humor, but it's not going to be like, hey, I'm wisecrack. Right. No. So I felt they did really well with that. Mm -hmm. no. The one thing I appreciated about this, and try to keep this spoiler free but it wasn't that like the final like battle or confrontation or whatever you want to call it wasn't that perpetual like gotcha you guys thought you won but I got you again you know what I mean it wasn't yeah. that like it felt very like okay I can accept this you know it wasn't yeah. like oh come on again like we're gonna drag this out another you know 15 minutes because you thought you won, but you really didn't because we've got another 15 minutes to show you. And again, I I didn't think this felt like three hours either. No. I, I, 
it went by really quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you have anything else to add? That... Uh, just the only thing, the only, the only other thing that comes to mind is that. Uh, now I am really sensitive, but there are several points that I cried. Um, God, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, you're right, man. It was very, like, and I was sitting next to somebody I didn't know. Like, it was our whole row of friends, and I was on the end with a complete stranger. And I could tell the dude was a lot younger than me. And I'm like, man, don't look over at me right now, because, like, I'm making some faces. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was definitely, uh, it was pretty emotional. So, and, and, and like I had mentioned, uh, to you before we gotten you know started this there were definitely some like personal you know just parallels for me and Ryder that I saw there between Stark and Peter Parker that really you know really hit me um, but it was good though man it's good to feel those emotions like yeah it's if a movie can make you feel anything like that then I think they succeeded oh yeah definitely. But I'm gonna deviate just for a second here I started watching Cobra Kai season two, and I absolutely love it. Like, yeah. I'm not too far into it, but I'm on season, or season, episode four. I'm gonna try and get one more episode in tonight before uh, I go to bed, and then I'm gonna binge the rest of it tomorrow after work. But I'm really enjoying it, and the NFL draft was tonight. The Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings took an offensive center, it looks like. I got the little alerts on my phone. Joel loves sports, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that was, there was a lot going on today for me and us and everything. But uh, yes, Avengers Endgame gets an A plus from me and I am anxious to see it again in time. But, yeah. and with that, that's the end of our ride from the theater. So I guess, my stereo does that. I, I hate that. <laughs> uh, anyway, is that it? Do you want to add anything else? Mm, I think All that's right. It. Well, for Uncle Joel, I'm Cousin Ryan. For Cousin Ryan, I'm Uncle Joel. And uh, let us know what you think when you see Endgame. I'm curious about everybody else's opinion, oh, yeah. too. So, you guys have a really good night, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, take it easy.